So we built ourselves a little tugboat of our 221 piece kit. If you want to uh, play along, make sure to click on the link down below and make sure you subscribe. The question is whether or not this tugboat will float. So let's bring in our trusty water source, our Pyrex dish and uh, zoom out a little. There we go. Now the question is, Will the tugboat float? So let's put it in the water, real gentle. Give it full chance. Ooh, it's floating. Oh, it's bubbling out. Oh, water, air, water is getting in, replacing the air. But I think in comparison to the ocean liner, I think this is better. What do you think? Why is it tilting over to the side? It must be, oh no, oh no, maybe it's not flowing. Maybe it's no good. Let's try to drain some of the water out. Let's try to drain some of the water out and go back in there. Try it real gently. Ooh, see, all the air just squeezes right out. Water rushes in and now we got ourselves a boat that doesn't float. See, it's close, man, it wants to, it wants to try. It, you get that, if you can keep the air trapped in the Legos, right? This is not a single body bottom um, boat, like, like the boats that Lego makes where it has one single shell and it actually does float. I have multiple of those. I have a fire truck boat and a police boat and it has that single bottom boat uh, so that, and then you just add Legos to the top of it. And that way, that single body actually does float. Now this, I don't know, now it's, uh, now it was floating, now it's not floating. So it's very, very on the edge. I'm still going to call this probably the best of the three so far. Um, in comparison, we'll rank it where this is the best, Ocean Liner is number two, and the Fishing Boat is number three. Which... I would have thought that way, given the way that we designed each of the boats. So now let's figure out, or let's go find out how I built this in about five minutes of time. Let's go check out the video. Let's go check it out. So we have a bonus episode. What are we gonna build? I'm thinking a tugboat. So let's do five minutes on the clock. Let's see what we can do to build a tugboat. Now, now the last couple episodes, uh, the boats have not floated. I'd really like to make this boat float. So I'm trying to figure out uh, how to get that to happen. So let's see. Tugboats are a little more squared off. Um, I think that's gonna work well. See now, what ends up happening is the water seeps in this crack here. So I'm trying to make this tugboat a lot more sturdy, and a lot less ability, have a ability to sink. So now that that's been said, I gotta find a way that uh, is gonna allow us to have the least amount of sinking as possible, right? So there we go. That's our tug boat. Maybe this is the front end. Now, a tug boat <clears throat> typically is not that tall, but the little there's a little tower there that's a little tall. Maybe it looks like this instead. Yeah, that looks right. It's always like a little window on the side of the tug, right? So that works out well. It's not gonna seal well, but uh, I'm trying not to get too top heavy either. Uh, we're about done, honestly. Should I add this to the front of the tug? Yeah, maybe. Let's give that a try. And then switch this out for this. And then I need 
a little white piece to go over top of that. I'm trying to think of what else you need it for a tugboat. No. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Now this one, I think, has the most potential of floating. The only question is, is are we too top heavy here? Hmm. Is this a better front? Let's see what that looks like instead. And uh, no. Maybe a one underneath, one by two. Maybe like one of these. And then the windshield. Yeah, uh, no. If it was clear, I would, I mean, a clear one by two, I think I would use it, but that's. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, that's what we need. We need these little dots here. The little tied down spots for the tug, right? Something like that. That will add a lot of value to the overall look, I think. Make it look more like a tug. Maybe I gotta spread them out. Maybe that's the right thing to do here. Need more of the dots. Where are the dots? I got some pink ones. Maybe I'll put the pink ones up front. Yeah, I think that looks like a tug. I think that looks a lot like a tugboat. You know, leave a suggestion down below if you think the look of this tugboat is correct or not. You know, we, we're given 221 pieces. Five minutes are now up. Uh, five minutes of time. Not a lot of time to really work on the embellishments to make it look more like a tug. But I think these little pylons around the edge... Um, where they have those tie downs where they take the big ropes from the ocean liners they wrap it around here real tight and then they can po tow tug on the big boats uh, as a tugboat and take the big boats through the uh, channels or wherever they need to go uh, slowly efficiently and uh, through the utilizing the tugboats so i think the look of this tugboat is really good now, if you think whether or not it's going to float or not, this is probably my best chance. I have the most trapped air on here, and the, this is not that heavy. So I'm hoping that I have the biggest chance of uh, floating this time. <coughs> my only issue is, is I'm going to leak through here. So these two will fill up with water. But these three here and the front should be all filled with air. Uh, so I'm hoping that it has enough buoyancy to actually stay upright, not flipped over, and floating. So that's what I'm hoping. Let's talk about what we're going to build tomorrow. So let's go check out how what we're going to build tomorrow. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Before you leave, uh, if you want to play along with us, go click on the affiliate link down below and you can buy this kit. If you have pictures of a tugboat, a Lego tugboat that you've built in the past, make sure to share it with us on social media at hashtag make share daily okay let's go check out uh, what we're gonna build tomorrow well that was a cool build now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow for the will it float boat challenge and it is a sailboat so I gotta make a sailboat put the sail on it uh, that's gonna be actually pretty difficult so let's do a sailboat that floats that's gonna be extra difficult 
So let's go check it out tomorrow. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.